Hey, I'm Chris with TEC, and today we're going to be showing you how to build a cut to fit adapter plate. So the tools you're going to need to get this done. One, you're going to need a Sharpie. We would recommend a silver Sharpie so you can see it on the black. You could use a black, but the silver is going to show up better. Um, I chose to use the yellow snips because I feel most mechanics are going to have these in their tool bag on site. I would prefer to have some tape and a straight edge. In the kit, you're going to get an adapter plate. You are going to get four pieces of trim, long enough to make all four sides of the adapter plate. You will get corner pieces of tape already cut to fit for the corners of your adapter plate. So moving forward, let's build the kit. Step number one. Today we're going to take a 20 by 22 filter and we're going to cut this adapter plate to make it fit. So the first step I would do is I would take the long side of the filter and I would set it on the adapter plate and even the two sides and even the front and back. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to leave enough room on the sides to where they're about even. And you want it to be where you know center of the adapter plate itself. At that point in time, I would recommend taking some tape and applying it just a little something to hold it when we trace it out. Take some tape so it doesn't move while we're tracing it. We'll take our Sharpie and we'll paint the corners. Important to say right now is do not trace the entire filter and I'll show you why in a minute. Okay, so we've got our four corners marked. Now we can pull off the tape, right? We can do away with that. Take our filter, set it aside. Okay, so we have our four corners marked. Here's a very important part. We know that's the edge of the filter. The trim kit is going to give you this extra space. That's what the cushion side is for, just to give you a close up, right, of how much play we're going to have to the grill. So, what we want to do now is bring all those measurements in a half an inch. So, we're going to take our straight edge. We're going to come in a half an inch and make a mark. Okay, so we've got our four corners marked a half inch in from each side. Now we'll take our straight edge, line it up, and we'll draw our filter square. Okay, now we're gonna put the square away for now. Set the Sharpie to the side. Now we have our square, and now we're going to cut out that square with a set of field tin snips. Okay, the next step, now that you have your trim kit cut to fit as we described earlier, next is going to be applying the trim pieces. So, what I would recommend at this point is putting a trim piece on the left and the right side. So, we will take this trim piece 
and we will install it, keep in mind we'd like to have this trim piece stick past the edge an eighth of an inch on both sides. Okay, we've now got our two side pieces snapped on all now. Remember, we're an eighth of an inch past the adapter plate with the trim. So now we're gonna go down here and cut them an eighth of an inch past the adapter plate down here at the bottom to cut the excess off. Okay, now that we have our side trim pieces on, we're gonna apply the trim on the long side. So we're gonna start with the Sharpie, and we're gonna line this trim up with the far edge of the left trim. And the very top side of the bottom trim piece and the far right side of the left trim piece, we're gonna make a mark here, where the clamp is, and then we're gonna draw a line on the rubber from that mark all the way out. And on those lines, we're gonna make a cut. We plan to cut this section off, like so. So the first thing we're going to do is cut back the rubber. Okay, we're gonna fold that rubber back. And we're gonna cut off the clamp section, like so. Our finished product should look something like this. Now, we'll line that back up edge to edge on the outside. We'll hold it straight. And when we get to the right side, we'll also make a mark edge to edge, inside to inside, and we will connect that across the rubber. That will look something like this. And we will plan on cutting out this section here and the excess here. And that will look something like this. the rubber, fold the rubber away, and we'll cut off the clamp with a finished product like this. So now you should have a trim piece with two cut sides that represent this. Now that we have our trim piece for the bottom made, we can install it. So just a tip. This is kind of made like a zipper. On the inside, there's some steel, and when you push it on, you'll feel it when you initially start it. It'll go on all the way. Don't try to get ahead of it. Follow the zipper all the way down. And you should end up with something like Okay. Now that you've finished off putting the bottom and top onto your cut to fit adapter, you should have four sides on your cut to fit adapter that represents something like you see here. Now, on the four corners, you'll notice you have cut ends on the foam insulated part of the gasket. In your kit, you will have four pieces of tape that we will use to lay over the gasket cut area.
The last and final step is to cut the corner about a half inch in. Cutting this corner is going to make it easier when you install this into a filter slot. So now that we have our grid complete, you can or cannot, I choose to, I would just like to label it 20 by 22. Mm -hmm.